Hey guys, in this video I'll be reviewing set 75271, Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This set is for ages 7 and up and has 236 pieces. It retails for $30 in the United States and has three minifigures. Let's take a look at them right now. The first minifigure of the set is Farm Boy Luke Skywalker. The main draw for this set for a lot of people is the Luke Skywalker poncho. He also comes with a blaster that can attach to his land speeder that you will see later on. And underneath the poncho, we see the regular old Luke, Farm Boy Luke printing. We have some leg printing, waist printing that continues down onto the legs. We have a belt, and then the belt continues around to the back. And he also has a second facial expression where he looks a lot more angry or just sad because it's a frowny face. Let's move on to the next figure. Here is C-3PO, the second minifigure of the set. And this is a really good figure. Uh, this is my first C-3PO. And I think Lego has got the mold great. That definitely looks like C-3PO. And as you can see, it is thinner than a normal head. And there are lots of details on the head. And we also have some wires in the middle and then a little pad up there. And then more wires in the front. We got some silver down there and then gold and some red lines and then some stitching or whatever for metal and then yellow eyes with just yellow printing and then the middle has no printing let's move on to the last figure of the set here's the last figure of the set and it is a jawa it has some back printing two straps comes with a little blaster and it's interesting that it's the older kind of lego blaster the megaphone piece, but it also has the same cross pattern on the front that they had on the back, and it has a hood with two yellow dots, and the rest of the head is just black. And this blaster can actually clip to the Jawas mini build, and we'll move on to that in a minute. Let's move on to the builds. Here are the builds of the set. And let's take a look at the Jawas little house or hut first. It has a little, a bunch of studs in there for the Jawa to stand on. And as I said earlier, you can take the Jawas blaster and attach it to this clip right there. It is very easy, and you can just have the Jawa standing there looking at Luke's land speeder. And let's take a look at that right now. Here is Luke's land speeder, and you can seat both Luke Skywalker and C-3PO in the seats, and you can take Luke Skywalker's gun or blaster and clip it right there. That is a great feature. There were a lot of stickers, but they make the set look a lot better. You can see stickers there, add some nice detail, and then up here and there. On the side and all around here. Well, here you can just seat Luke Skywalker in. If you don't want to damage the poncho, you can remove it and set him in. But here there is a little control panel and then a steering wheel for Luke. And C3PO can sit right next to him as the drive around and in the back once you put this down you can pull this up and there is just a pair of binoculars that you can put in there and it closes up it's connected by one stud right there and so it is pretty loose but it won't fall off on you especially because this blocks it and so it won't fall off unless you like pull it but it has a nice little silver car piece mini car piece and has some clear inverted tiles on the bottom for smoother 
movement across harder surfaces. Let's move on to my rating. Overall, I would rate this set an 8 out of 10. LEGO has reused the same Farm Boy Luke in so many sets in the same year, but it is a great set, and there have been tons of Luke's land speeders. It is a great set, and I like all the play features with, like, the back opening up and the Jawa's gun being stored away and Luke's gun being stored away. And I'm very happy to get my first C-3PO minifigure, and the Luke Skywalker poncho is a great thing to have, especially for stop motions. But if you enjoyed this video, please smash like and subscribe for more reviews just like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.